Well, um, I think what's under consideration is a proposal that uh, Senator Wyden and the Senate Finance Committee have been looking at that would um, impose um, a tax on unrealized capital gains um, on liquid assets held by extremely wealthy individuals, billionaires. Um, I wouldn't call that a wealth tax, but um, it would help get at uh, capital gains, which um, are an extraordinarily large part of the incomes of the wealthiest individuals. And uh, right now, uh, escape taxation, uh, until they're realized and often they're unrealized and at death uh, benefit from a so-called step up of basis. So it's not a wealth tax, but um, a tax on unrealized capital gains of exceptionally wealthy individuals. Guys, let me help you understand what you just heard there. Janet Yellen wants to effectively put a tax, and this is supposedly on billionaires only right now, and the reason why I say right now, I'll, I'll unpack this in a moment. And she was to put a tax on billionaires for unrealized capital gains. So if you're familiar with the stock market, this is how it works. You buy, let's say, a share of Apple today. Now, by the end of the year, that share has 1x to $200 after you bought it for $100. You don't pay taxes on it because now you didn't sell it. Now, the reason why this is, is because, say, the end of the year, you know, it went from $100, $200. Great, you have a portfolio now of $100, of $200 in Apple, $100 in gains. You doubled your, you know, investment. But let's say next year, a recession hits. And then that $200 now turns to $50. But the problem is, you're asking people to pay taxes on something one year at $200, now, if it if a recession hits and it deflates all the way down, let's say from two hundred down to fifty dollars, they pay taxes on an asset now that they don't have. It's not the same value. That's why it is in place in the tax code for where you only pay taxes on investments once you realize those gains. That's the reason why that's there. That's the reason why there's an incentive in the stock market to where. If you leave your assets in there for longer than one year, you pay a lower tax instead of paying a higher tax if you, say, take it out in one year. You realize your gains in less than one year, you're going to pay ordinary taxes on it. That's why they kind of put things in play to prevent swing trading, for, to prevent people from doing day trading, to prevent things like that, to you know keep long-term wealth building in the stock market, building in the U.S. economy. So that's why they give you an incentive to say, hey, look, when you realize your gains after one year, you'll pay a special smaller tax on this. Janet Yellen wants to take that away from billionaires today, but this is where it starts. It's billionaires today, and then it's people like me and you tomorrow. And this will hurt us, and this will prevent us from creating generational wealth it'll prevent us from gaining and you know getting out of poverty and creating wealth that we can pass on to our children it's not going to hurt the billionaires the billionaires is always going to find ways to get out of these kind of things because they got the best tax lawyers the best accountants all of that but once it trickles down to people like me and you this is where it hurts thanks for watching see you guys in the next video peace